So this is our new temporary office where we are currently waiting to film a little bit more downtime stuff. Today we're actually getting our new host online, Mariana. And that's her there. Ellen is filming me. Looking super excited. She's saying something. I don't know what she's saying. You may or may not never see Alan again. So if you like, leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, and let me know which one you like the most, me or Alan. <laughs> yeah, it's Mariana. She's going to be the new host. Well, downtime recap, now in a new office. The same building. We're giving you a studio then. There she is. I'm done. There she is. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Mariana. Wait, what? <laughs> and some exciting news that we can look forward to here in winter of 2021 is that DreamHack winter is officially back. We have 100% confirmation that it will be a LAN and early bird tickets will be on the website released here on the 15th and we're waiting for the countdown to go down so we can get access to these tickets. People do have some questions, as we can see if you take to Twitter. Sources are down below where people are kind of curious about more info, which is DreamHack. Not a lot of info have been released so far, and hopefully we'll have info coming out at us really soon as possible. As I'm currently filming this, DreamHack's early bird takers will be available and open for purchase in a, in a day two hours, 33 minutes, and four, two, one, oh, seconds. News and requirements due to the whole COVID situation will be in information, hopefully released soon, so we all can have a really safe and fun event once again. Life is Strange True Colors just came out not that long ago, and it's sadly being review bombed. <laughs> it's sadly not having positive impact among Chinese-speaking players. Steam still marks True Colors as a very positive game, despite the review bombing of negative reviews. All that aside, Life is Strange True Colors still remains an excellent and worthwhile new entry of the series. It'll actually be getting a DLC expansion a few weeks from now in a prequel story. So that sounds really exciting. I've never told anyone. But now I can find out what's really going on. You'll need help. I've got your back. In exciting news, especially for me, Netflix Tomb Raider anime has officially cast Haley Adwell, Marvel's Dr. Margaret. Peggy as the voice for Lara Croft in the newest adaptation that Netflix is putting out as an anime. Netflix has been producing various other shows including Dragon's Dogma and uh, acclaimed Castlevania. If you haven't watched that, there's a spin-out coming out soon which will be taking place in 17th century France. Very exciting as well. <laughs> Story details about the new Tomb Raider series is really scarce, but the official synopsis reveals that it will continue the continuation last seen in the 2018's video game Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Also, the, the Witcher Aura's origin is also a part of the new thing. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm, I'm very passionate about it, if you can tell. Exciting. On the Twitch side of things, Twitch is suing Two hate bot raider creators in the recent of the month where it's been escalating of the targets of black and LGBTQA plus streamers with harassing content, uh, as you may guess, like racist comments, sexist comments, and yeah, all the things we do not want. If you want to know more about lawsuits and the things going on that's been escalating over the past month, there is a link in the description down below, which is our source, about how the lawsuit is proceeding and what is happening. And coming down to the final part of today's recap is, in case you missed it, the showcase for the new PlayStation 5 games that are coming out this fall, next year, spring, and everything. All the goods that PS5 is coming out with. Personally, I'm really looking forward to Project of Eve, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and Blood Hunt is one of the games I'm looking forward to play on my non-existent PS5. 
And this is where I put PlayStation 5. If I had one! Sorry. If there is anything else, if there's any game that you're looking forward to to play on, if you're a lucky son of a gun who just got a new restock of September's PS5s, let me know down below. It would be super nice. And yeah, what are, what are the games that I haven't on my little top three? It's, it's three games out of 18. I'm sure there's a game that you're excited to play. Let me know down and do join our Discord. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like and join the community. We have a Discord. You subscribe, you ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next recap and in our next videos. Thank you so much.